Ever wondered why the luxury market, specifically Gucci, has been facing a sales slump? Luxury brands, they're the epitome of taste, status, and the good life, a world where Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and Tiffany and company reign supreme. But even in this realm of opulence, the ground can shake. Case in point, Gucci's recent sales slump. Yes, you heard it right, Gucci. The purveyor of high-end fashion and luxury goods has witnessed a sharp slowdown in sales. Why is this significant, you ask? Well, Gucci isn't just any brand, it's a key player in the luxury market. Its performance can be a barometer for the health of the luxury sector overall. And when a giant like Gucci sneezes, the ripple effect is felt across the market. Shares of Caring, Gucci's parent company, tumbled, and even other high-end brands like Louis Vuitton and Burberry felt the chill. Now the question is, what led to this downturn? What chain of events led to the mighty Gucci facing such a setback? Stay tuned as we unravel the timeline of events leading to this unexpected turn of events. Our journey begins in Europe, where luxury stocks started tumbling. Picture a day like any other, the markets humming, shares trading hands, and then a ripple of unease, a whisper that soon grows into a clamor. The luxury market, a stalwart of stability and opulence, shows signs of trouble. It's a Wednesday, and the first signs of worry come from the fashion powerhouse, Caring, the parent company of the iconic brand, Gucci. A profit warning is issued, and the financial world takes notice. The unspoken promise of consistency and growth that luxury brands like Gucci have always offered seems to be wavering. In the heart of the City of Lights Paris, Caring shares plunge, not by a fraction, not by a modicum, but by a staggering 15%. The magnitude of this drop, unprecedented and jarring, sends tremors through the stock market. And the ripples don't stop at caring. LVMH, the European titan, owner of beloved brands like Louis Vuitton and Tiffany & Company, doesn't escape unscathed. Its shares dip by over 3%. The market watches aghast as even the second most valuable company in Europe feels the pinch. And it doesn't end there. Across the border in Switzerland, Richemont, the maker of Piaget watches, Montblanc pens, and Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry, sees a 3% slip in its shares. The tremors reach the shores of the United Kingdom, where homegrown British brand Burberry, despite its own profit warnings in January, sinks by as much as 6%. The luxury market, once a beacon of stability, is suddenly looking a little less secure. The initial reactions in the stock market are of surprise, of uncertainty, but this, my friends, is just the beginning. The luxury market is in for a bumpy ride, and we're here to understand why. This was just the beginning. Let's delve deeper. As the tremors of the luxury market slump reached China, the situation worsened. This Chinese dragon, once a fervent consumer of high-end goods, began to lose its fire. The slowdown in demand was sharp and abrupt, leaving even the most seasoned market analysts wide-eyed. Take Gucci, for example. Known for its interlocking G logo and a penchant for bold, eclectic designs, Gucci has been a darling of the luxury market. But as the taste for luxury began to sour in China, so did Gucci's sales. And as the sales fell, the tremors were felt all the way up the corporate ladder to Caring, the parent company of Gucci. Let's delve a bit deeper. Caring, a titan in the luxury goods industry, owns a portfolio of renowned brands, Gucci being one of them. But as Gucci's sales slumped, Caring stock quickly followed suit. Investors, startled by this sudden downturn, reacted. Shares of Caring plunged as much as 15% in Paris, a significant hit for any corporation. Make no mistake, this was not a small blip on the radar. It was a stark indicator of the shifting landscape of consumer demand. China, once the golden goose for luxury brands, was now presenting a challenging conundrum. How to reignite the passion for luxury in a market that was rapidly cooling off. The slowdown was alarming not just for Gucci and Caring, but for the entire high-end goods market. It was a wake-up call, a reminder that even the strongest of brands are not immune to the dynamics of consumer sentiment. The impact was not limited to Gucci alone. Let's see how it affected other luxury brands. The slump in Gucci sales sent shockwaves through the luxury market. This ripple effect was palpable. As the news broke, the luxury industry held its breath, bracing for the impact. And impact it did, with other luxury behemoths feeling the tremors. Take LVMH, for instance, the European powerhouse that owns Louis Vuitton and Tiffany and & Company. As the news of Gucci's profit warning spread, LVMH's stocks took a tumble, dropping more than 3% at one point. It was a steep fall for Europe's second most valuable company, 
a clear indication of the far-reaching effects of Gucci's sales slide. And the effect didn't stop there. Over in Switzerland, Richemont, the creator of Piaget watches, Mont Blanc pens, and Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry, wasn't spared either. Stocks of this luxury goods giant slipped 3%, echoing the sentiment of caution that had swept across the market. Even the British weren't immune. Burberry, the homegrown British brand, also felt the sting. The brand, which had already warned of lower profits in January, saw its stock sink as much as 6%. It was a bitter pill to swallow for a brand that has always been a symbol of British luxury. The ripple effect was indeed far-reaching, touching every corner of the luxury market. From Paris to London, from watches to handbags, no segment was untouched. The slump in Gucci's sales had indeed sent a shockwave through the luxury market, a wave that left a trail of falling stocks and profit warnings in its wake. It's clear that this slump has had far-reaching effects, but what does all this mean? As we delve deeper into this intriguing scenario, let's keep this question in mind. Because the answer may just hold the key to understanding the future of the luxury market. As we've seen, the luxury market, and particularly Gucci, has taken quite a hit. Over the course of our journey exploring the timeline of this slump, we've discovered that no luxury brand is invincible, not even the sparkling giants like Gucci or Louis Vuitton. We've traced the slump back to its roots, pinpointing a sharp slowdown in demand for high-end goods, especially in China. The ripple effects of this slowdown have been felt far and wide, from the bustling streets of Paris where shares of carrying Gucci's parent company plunged as much as 15%, to the elegant quarters of LVMH, home to Louis Vuitton and Tiffany and & Company, which saw a drop of more than 3% at one point. And it doesn't stop there. We've seen the slump cross borders and reach Switzerland's Richemont, the illustrious maker of Piaget watches, Mont Blanc pens, and Van Cleef and Arpels jewelry. Even this titan of luxury felt the pinch, slipping 3%. The tremors of the slump have also been felt in London, where Burberry, a homegrown British brand that had already issued a profit warning in January, saw its shares sink as much as 6%. These are not mere numbers. They represent a significant shift in market dynamics and consumer behavior. This slump has revealed that even the most high-end brands are not immune to market forces and global economic trends. It is a potent reminder that the luxury market, like all markets, is a complex and interconnected web of influences and pressures. From changing consumer tastes and economic fluctuations to global events and political climates, all these factors come together to shape the landscape of the luxury market. As we continue to watch the luxury market, one thing is clear. Even the most glamorous brands are not immune to market forces. And as we venture forward, we'll continue to keep an eye on this intriguing world of luxury, exploring its ups, downs, and everything in between. So, what does the future hold for Gucci and the luxury market? It's a question that's probably on many minds. While we can't predict the future with absolute certainty, we can speculate based on current trends and historical precedents. The luxury market has seen its fair share of ups and downs and it's no stranger to recovery. It's a resilient sector that's been able to bounce back from challenges in the past. Could we see a resurgence in demand for high-end goods, especially in markets like China? Absolutely. It's a possibility worth keeping an eye on. And let's not forget, downturns often present opportunities for savvy investors. A slump in luxury stocks could mean discounted shares of high-quality companies. It's been a fascinating journey exploring the luxury market slump. Remember, even in times of challenge, there's always an opportunity. Until next time, keep investing wisely.